Most people go to the gym with the goal to get fit. But for this rip mom, it really uh, helped me cope with my problems. A weightlifter's paradise became a safe haven. I started lifting weights when I was about 16 years old. I had a pretty tumultuous childhood upbringing. And so the gym really became a healthy way for me to escape that. Five years ago, Suzanne was hit with a series of injuries, starting with back complications. It had me laid up in bed for about eight to nine months, and I really thought that I'd never walk again. Then, I had a shoulder injury. I went from 200 miles an hour to zero. But like most reps, she pushed through, with the support of her family eventually bouncing back. However, life. Um, Tinsley was closer than a sister to me. Can often make you appreciate the simple things. I still get emotional talking about it. Last year, Suzanne's best friend Tinsley lost her battle with cancer. She said, my wish for you is that you don't just continue to exist. She said, I want you to really live life. So she put one foot in front of the other to chase her dreams to become a professional bodybuilder. I knew right away I had a lot of work to do. Suzanne packed on the muscle and began competing. I look back at my pictures and I just kind of chuckle because if you see it, there's a huge difference between a year ago. And this past weekend, placed third in a national competition in Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. I mean, I, I just... Leaving even her speechless. I just got so choked up. I almost started crying right on the stage. She hopes her story serves as motivation. My message to people is not to necessarily go to the gym and build a body. My message is find an activity that you love, that you can do, that you enjoy, and do it. Hoping that many others can push through their own pain. In Florence, Nick Sturdivant, News 13.